Hello everyone, welcome to Power BI Practical Tutorials. I'm a trainer of booklets. Today we are going to discuss about page layout and formatting. Power BI Desktop gives us ability to control the page layout and formatting of our report pages. It may be in terms of size and orientation. Here, when we start working on a Power BI reports, after creating the report, after creating the visualization and arranging them in a page, we have the privilege to change the size and layout of the pages, what we are working on. And even we have the privilege to format the page we are working on. So regarding that only, we are going to discuss in today's tutorial. So to make uh, changes on the page layout, and if you want to format means, we have to go to the view tab. We can see in the view tab, now we are moved from home tab to the view tab. Now we are in view tab. And in the view tab, we can see the templates, themes. We can say the different themes are available. And along with that, we can see a couple of ribbons on the view tab like page view, mobile layout, grid line snap, grid lock objects, bookmarks, and many other. So here we are mainly focusing on page view. As we are, as we are discussing, we are going to discuss about page layout and formatting of the pages. So now in the view tab, we are going to click on page view ribbon. When we clicked on page view ribbon, we get the options fit to page, fit to width, and then actual size. So by default, the report page size is set to 16 is to 9 ratio. So we can select the paintbrush and also there also we can perform the changes to the visualizations. So these are the options that is provided in the page view, like where we can choose fit to page, fit to width or actual size. Yeah, this is how it looks like. If I'm clicking on fit to page, this is the fit to page and then fit to width. Yeah, fit to width, this is how it looks like. Yeah, now, Discussing about the options, like uh, we can go to the any of the visualization and even we can check there. Yeah, here we have already created a visualization tree map. In this tree map, we can apply this page view options like fit to page or fit to it, how exactly it looks like. And then actual size. Yeah. So each and every options differ its in own way. So now I'm again resizing it back into fit to page. And even on the visualization pane, we can see we have different options like add to your visual and then format your report page. So here also we have some page information in the page, in the format page. We can see page information option. And here also we can make some necessary changes that is required for the formatting. And even we can add a static elements to the visualizations.
static elements means what? What exactly the static elements are? Even we can add a text box image. Even we can add a text box images or shapes to the pages. Here we can see. Now I move from home tab to the insert tab. In the insert tab, we can see the options. Static elements are present here. It is showing add a text box to our report and buttons are there. We can add the buttons as well. And then buttons also here we can add the different buttons so that we can guide the user to use the report. In case if we want to, if we have more number of pages and we want to navigate from one page to another page in forward direction or in backward direction. In that case, we can add a left arrow or we can add a right arrow to guide the user. Yeah. And even we can add the reset button, back button. So there are different types of buttons are available. And now shapes. In the shapes, we can see the different types of shapes are available. Rectangles, basic shapes, and then block arrows that indicates the flow. Block arrows indicates the flow. For indicating the flow in the visualization, we can use the block arrows. In the rectangles, we can see there are again different types of rectangles are present. Rectangle, this is a simple rectangle. A rounded rectangle is also present. And then snip tab, top right. Snip tab, both top. A rounded tab, top right. And then a rounded tab, both top. In the basic shape also, we can see triangles, rectangles, circles, ellipse. All these things are present. These are the static elements that we can add it to our visualization. That is box, box, text box buttons, and then shapes. Even we can add the images as well. We click on images. It will automatically choose the open window. In the open window, we can select the path of our local machine or if the report is connected to the server or if we can connect with the web browser also and we can download the image and we can insert it into our report or via desktop report. And now again, I'm moving back to the home tab. In the home tab, you can see even we can manage the overlapping of elements as well in the Power BI desktop reports. Manage of, uh, managing of overlapping elements means we can perform the ordering of the elements. We can perform the ordering of the elements in the report. This ordering of the elements in the report, we call it as a Z order. Like we can use the bring forward and uh, send forward options in the reports. Even we can, we have the privilege to reuse a, a report layout. Reuse a report layout means what it is. Reuse a report layout means, suppose we have created one page and uh, similar kind of page again we want to create with some necessary changes. Then no need to create that. Uh, then no need to create that page from the scratch. We can duplicate that page and we can recreate it. That means we can add the necessary features. Here we can see the option. Now I'm selecting a particular page, and now I have selected table styles page. I'm just right clicking on this page and I'm going to click on duplicates. If I click on duplicate page, now the duplicate of table styles is available. We can make a changes to this page as per our requirement. Even we can rename this page. Even we can rename this page to 
the new one. I'm going to rename this page as a table styles. I'm going to rename it as a table styles underscores. This is how we can duplicate a image, a duplicate a page in the Power BI desktop. So now we have seen what are the different options available for page layout and formatting and how we can set the size and orientation, how we can set the size and orientation of the page in the Power BI desktop. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.